Hello, this is Mark. I'm here from Microphone Boutique to talk about um, capsules and humidity. Um, I'm just start umming already. <laughs> humidity, uh, and this has to do with any condenser microphones, no matter what uh, style condenser microphone it is. So, I just have this kind of Chinese-made capsule in my hand just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. This might have a little humidity damage just looking at it. So, what is capsule humidity damage? It's when humidity gets trapped inside, on the inside of the capsule. And what it often does is it uh, can cause uh, corrosion on the inside. Um, it can also cause the, um, the membrane to stick gently to, and if we look at this one, there's a couple of spots that are super, I don't know how well this is doing on the zoom. Uh, there's a couple of spots that I would see and go, ooh, that does not look good. Um, so if you see the membrane kind of gluing itself, and you can actually see the outline of the, the holes that are in the, in the uh, transducer backplate there, right on the membrane, then you may have humidity damage. And the unfortunate news is it can't really be fixed. We have messed with capsules, especially when you have vintage capsules and you don't want to um, rebuild them. Uh, we've tried, you know, putting them in, in giant vats of that uh, silica gel stuff. And, and um, we've tried various ways of kind of... Um, now, when the humidity damage is very light, I've seen it reversible. I've seen that humidity find its way out and not cause any damage on the inside. And I actually probably, although that only happens over a short amount of time, because I, I was thinking of a microphone of my own that I did get to behave, but then and then they started misbehaving again. So, not all the time, but 80% of the time, it is super bad news because it means you need to rescan your capsule or put a new membrane on to get that trapped humidity out and to undo any uh, kind of damage that that happened to it. So, um, how do you know this is happening? Well, this is how I know when, when someone comes to me, they say, I think I need a new tube, because <laughs> I hear this crackling noise. And uh, the test to see if you have humidity trapped in your capsule is to breathe a hot breath into the microphone while it's going, go, <sighs> and see if the crackling incre begins or increases, because sometimes they're like, oh, it comes and goes, I don't know. And sometimes it's just always there, but you go <sighs> into that capsule and all of a sudden you <sighs> And if you can trigger that reaction, then it's not the tube that's crackling. It's the capsule that's crackling. And it makes a sound like a, some dying tubes do. Some preamp tubes, when they're on their way out, go crackety, crackety, crack. Mostly 12AX7s um, are pretty well known for doing this. And swapping the tube can just make that go away. Um, there's other things that can make that cracking noise, especially when you're talking about a more sophisticated microphone. Um, because you're, when you get Zener diodes, and certain diodes can get uh, humidity in them. Um, uh, they, they can produce a crackling. Uh, so crackling can happen in other places than the tube or the capsule. But... Some will say, I think I need a tube, and I'll say, where do you live? And they say, in L.A., right on the water. <laughs> um, and so I, I often ask a lot of customers to do that humidity test, and or if they just have a mysterious crackling. And oftentimes it reveals that is the problem. And the capsule may not be redeemable. It may have, well, it's redeemable, but it may have to be repaired in order to function further or replaced, depending on if it's replaceable. So, thanks for watching this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I hope to get to them. Uh, if I forgot to mention something, mention it below and, and let other people watching this, you know, kind of share in that knowledge too. I have other um, microphone related videos here on YouTube you can check out. So go to the channel and subscribe and all that stuff. All that usual YouTube blah, blah, blah. And uh, thanks for watching.